leaving a line of baking powder. This should make them turn around without harming them. To stop ants from entering your home, you first need to work out where they're coming in from and then block the route by leaving a line of baking powder. This should make them turn around without harming them. To stop ants from entering your home, you first need to work out where- Are you having a problem with ants in your house? I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get rid of them. If my videos help you guys out, please like, share, and leave me a comment on something you guys need help with next. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All you're gonna need is table salt. See all the ants? You just take table salt and spread in the area and just watch all the ants run away. Step number one, vacuum carpets, rugs, surfaces of any room that's seeing any flea activity. Then Where are the ants coming from? Well, the ants are coming from that place, the woods. You know, they, they live out there in the trees and then they're looking for, like I talked about earlier, proteins, fats, and most importantly, water, which leads you to this area, downspout. So water's coming down, you got faucet over here, irrigation system, when the heat and humidity condensation starts, this is gonna be a real hot spot. Also corners of the house, easy access for the ants or any bugs or mice or that kind of stuff, but ants go right up the corner, they're in, and then once they're in behind your walls, they're off to the races, they're in your kitchen and uh, well, you're calling us. How do you keep car parents away from your home? That's a really great question. And I appreciate you wanting to be proactive. <laughs> that is uh, by keeping the water away from the house, right? So keeping your gutters, you know, clean, clear, not clogged, uh, letting the water drain out in a way. You know, hoses that people leave them out in the yard for sprinklers, things like that. that, that gets condensation on it and the ants will walk the hose right back to the house. Branches that are touching the home, they wanna cut those back so the ants don't walk right off a branch and into the house. Those are three of the most common ways, but it's really water, like keeping the water away. That's gonna really help you with most of your insect problems. Any brush you have around the house that are touching the home, the sun can't get in and dry things out, so cut that brush back. And then of course, you know, regular service, whether by you or by a pest professional for that added protection. Okay, to all my ant fans out there, the owner of the ant farm, where I have all of my ants, reached out to me and was like, hey, we love what you're doing with your ant farm, but your thing's a little boring. You need more. So they sent me more. <laughs> another sand one, but I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna fill this with dirt and then I'm gonna connect them all. And then they sent me this. When I discovered this method, there are no more flies, ants, or cockroaches in my house. Pour 300 milliliters of water into a frying pan. Prepare two tablespoons of cloves, throw them into the water, and heat the whole thing. When the water changes color, sprinkle baking soda onto the pan. Two tablespoons are enough. It will react with the decoction and start fizzing. Pour it into a spray bottle. Put a few bay leaves into the bottle. I was fed up with pests that had infested my house. It turned out that just by spraying this spray on the front door, kitchen cabinets, and window sills, insects avoid the house like the plague. When I just When ants are coming from under your baseboards and your landlord isn't responding to your texts. Now, where are you going? I'm not going to hurt you. So, ants are back, as you can see, and they're eating the cotton ball. You know, look, there's another one. They've been eating it for like the last hour. I'm going to let them eat those cotton balls. Don't mind the grease. I was like cooking and stuff. It, I need to, yeah, deep clean. But I'm going to let them eat that because it's going to kill them in less than 48 hours. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how. Okay, one second. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. Some borax, a cup to mix it in and then some sugar. Um, this is very old, disgusting sugar, but I keep it so I can mix it with the ants. Look at that, yuck. Oh, and some cotton balls. Um, depending on how many you wanna place around the house. So right now I just wanna put some um, in the, get to it Trish, uh, the dining room. So I'm not gonna use that much. Okay, so one second here. And you can make as much or as little as you want. So first I'm gonna pour in the borax. Let's hope you can see. Okay. It's still recording perfect. So I'm gonna pour in the borax. So like I said, I'm only making some from the dining room. 
the little goes, oops. And make sure you don't like touch the borax and then not wash your hands and touch the sugar. Oh my gosh, that's going to worse. Anyway, that's so much borax. I wish you could see it. Hold on. Can you see it? Not too much. Now I'm going to do the sugar. One second, let me pause the video. Okay, and I just washed my hands. Even though I don't use this sugar, but just so you guys can remember, don't like get borax in, you know? So I'm probably going to use this much sugar, if you can see. So a spoonful. Actually, just a little bit more. So the sugar attracts the ants. I hope you guys can hear me. A little bit more. And you're going to mix it around in there. Because they can't tell the difference between the borax and ah, the sugar. Because they're dumb. Okay, one second. Okay, so I just added a spoonful of water. But actually, that was leaving too much. You don't even want to add a spoonful. Because I want it to be, like, pasty. If that makes sense. So, what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more borax. Hold on here. Ugh, it's hard trying to do this one. Okay. Ooh, way too much. Well, it's not too much. But, okay. So, I'm going to stir that. One second. Perfect. You see how it's like it's a like it's a paste? Look, I can like come on, focus. I can like smush it. It's like that. That's how I want it. Okay. Okay, so now hold on. Alright, so we need a cotton ball. I'm gonna take this and just put it on there like so. And then hold on here. Okay. And I'm just gonna take it. Oh, look, look at the ants. Look at the ants. I'm gonna set it against here. Shoot, you wanna make sure it's not like, and they're gonna go crazy for a second because they don't know what it is. It's okay. As you can see, they're all going to the cotton ball. Now, where are you going? I'm not gonna... A plumber was doing his job as usual when he heard a terrifying noise. However, he decided to check the pipe where the noise was coming from and found something dreadful. You can't imagine what was making such a loud noise. The full video can't be shown here, but... I don't know what to do. Okay. Please help. There are these tiny little reddish-brown ant-looking things all over my room. I do not have anything that they would want. They are crawling all over my dresser. They have made their way to my desk. I am not sure what to do. They keep clustering under my books, and I keep drowning them in Lysol. I am very stressed, and it freaks me out that they could be crawling on me at night. Sorry for being dramatic, but I hate any type of bug. And I accidentally killed the spider that was killing the ants, and I am sad. Thank you. I don't know what to do. This is an ant trap that doesn't work the way you think. You see, it'll actually make things look worse before they get better, yet they have an almost perfect rating after over 70,000 reviews. And here's why. First, you just snap off the tab and place them around wherever your ant infestation is. What happens next is that ants are attracted to the bait sweet syrup of liquid borax. But here's the thing, that borax concoction actually hijacks an ant's digestive system. So it's going to work slowly but surely, which is important because you want them to have time to share it with the other ants and most importantly, the queen. After a while, the borax solution in the trap completely spreads throughout the column. But then all of a sudden, they'll all be gone. This is an ant trap that doesn't work the way you think. You see, it'll actually make things look worse. You know, instead of waiting for a good day to happen, you know, waiting around the ups and downs, you know, I, I just said, look. This video is about how to get rid of ants and specifically the really tiny ones that appear in your kitchen. I live in Virginia. They love sugar. And I've had a problem with these ants every year and I figured out how to get rid of them. So this year they haven't been as bad, but recently I bought some fruit. And when you get fruit and put it out, they will show up. So here's what you do. You get yourself some of this Taro ink killer. You tear off little strips of cardboard, which is what you see here. And you put the taro ink killer on it. Now, here's where you have to sort of go against what you might want to do. You're not going to kill all these little ants. You're going to want to, some people want to see the ants and they want to spray them and wipe them out and kill them. You're not going to kill them. You're going to put the drops of the taro on there and this is what you want. Each one of those is a little ant. 
because every time they drink that, they're taking back a little poison back to the queen and we're trying to get rid of the queen. And once the queen's gone, the ants will stop coming. So get you some tear out, it's very cheap. It's like, I don't know, $3. Put these little cardboard tabs out. Don't kill the ants. Let them eat it and take it back to the queen and you will get rid of your problem within two weeks, two to three weeks. This video is about how to get rid of ants and specific. This shit is crazy. After my son put two ants in a jar last week and insisted on keeping them in his room, I decided it was time to get him a proper ant house. And me being me, I decided to get him the coolest fucking ant house I could find on Amazon. And because I'm a fucking genius, I waited till I was up north at my mom's house so I didn't have to be the one to collect ants for his house. Now the downsides of being a content creator is that you actually have to follow along and film everything. When I tell you I almost shit my pants when he moved this log, note to self, never, and I mean never, move a piece of wood. So we really thought we hit the jackpot here, and the instructions said to put the ants in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes so that it makes them sleepy so you can get them in the house easier. But then my grandpa realized that these were carpenter ants and they wouldn't do well in the house. They don't give a shit about digging tunnels. Our sincerest apologies to these carpenter ants. We really fucked up your day for nothing, but I'm hoping that you had a nice little nap in the fridge. So now it was on to collect the proper ants for the goddamn ant house. This time we used a Cool Whip container. You just put a little bit of honey inside and we headed to the garden to try and lift up big rocks and see what was under there. Lifting up big rocks in a garden is my nightmare. Once they had about 30 to 40 ants, they put them in the fridge, they got sleepy, and then you put them in this test tube to get them into the house. The house has water, food, and I'm not even kidding, they get to work right away. This was after a couple days, and this is after five days. Fucking X Games mode. This shit is crazy. After my son- So, basically, I saw one of these little things, and I smushed it, and then I left, thinking that, okay, I think that I like killed something and it was tiny. So I don't know what the fuck I did. Oh my God, what is happening? I realized I've been gatekeeping something, a trick that my grandma taught me. And so I figured that I would share it with you guys. If you get black ants in your home, I have the solution for you. 32 ounces of warm water, an eighth cup of borax, and a fourth cup of sugar. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix it all up, make sure the sugar and the borax dissolves. And then you're going to put cotton balls in the solution. And you're going to put them on like little dishes or anything that you have that's, you know, small. And you're going to place them around your house where you see the ants the most. And so we, a three-year-old, and he likes to mess with things. He doesn't usually mess with these, but we also put them in places where he can't really get to easily, like behind the recliner, underneath the entertainment center. Then when the cotton ball dries up, you just, I just take a spoon and put some more solution in it and cover the cotton ball again, uh, and that will kill the ants. I realize in just 20 minutes Taro had attracted a ton of ants. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. In just 20 minutes Taro had attracted a ton of ants. Oh, come on now. Y'all know we all hate when them ants get the gang banging on one little piece of chicken in the middle of your sidewalk, man. I mean, he said he got the hat to get rid of that. You feel me? A little bit of cold water. Or well, is that cold water? Oh, okay, we're going to say a little bit of water. Some Don dish soap. Seem like Don kill everything, man. Fleas off your dog. You know what I'm saying? That Don dish soap. Something special, for real. Okay, we mixing it on up. Ah, right, yeah. We got to get everything together, right? I, 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 I would suppose so. Pour it on the ants. Mmm. They ain't coming back off of that one. I hope not anyway. Nobody ain't got time to be playing around with these ants, man. Them Jones get to crawling up on you and it's over. One get the bite, and it ain't all right. Oh, come on now. So, um, I kind of have an ant problem right now, but I feel bad squishing them or anything because I'm all about nature. So this is what I'm gonna do. So I got a little bit of honey. 
and stuff for these guys, so hopefully they know. They're just trying to eat, you know? They're not harming nobody. So, um, I kind of have an ant problem right now. If you start getting the ants on your cabinet top, take this household vinegar and wipe your cabinets down with it, and the ants will go away. You won't know where they gone to, but they'll go away. <laughs> Okay, so I'm finding that the spiritual meaning behind a colony of ants invading your space is a sign that you need to cleanse your energy, cleanse your space, and note where multiple people are pulling on your energy, or multiple energies, I should say, are pulling on your energy. So let's say if you find a colony of ants in an undesirable place within your home. So basically, you see ants in a place where you would prefer to not see ants. You have people pulling on your energy and it's possibly draining you, possibly causing illusions within your mind. You need to go ahead and cleanse your space cleanse your energy and then protect your energy protect your space and that can also look like setting boundaries within yourself and within people and rid your energy of these people that are literally pulling on your energy and maybe it's not people for you whatever it looks like for you because truly too it could possibly also be spirits leeching onto your energy so yeah, that is definitely what I have found the spiritual meaning behind a colony of ants invading your space to mean. So yeah, if you find this happening to you or you found it happening to you in the past and you're just confused, really cleanse your energy and then cleanse your space and then start setting boundaries with people, not expending too much of your energy where you know that you need it. And yeah, like I literally had goosebumps the entire time filming this, so. Okay. That one time on my. This is how to easily get rid of ants yourself permanently. I've worked in pest control for over a decade and have solved tons of ant issues. It's not hard, you just have to do it right and use the right stuff. Today we're gonna be using Demand Duo. This product is fantastic at getting rid of ants. And if you want to get some for yourself, you can order it at naturetech.com. What you want to see in a product that you're using is a residual effect, which means it continues working long after you've applied it, and a transfer effect, which means bugs spread it around each other. Always apply the product thoroughly around the outside foundation. Next, you're going to want to treat problem areas inside and outside. This could be an ant mound outside, or it could be a trail of ants that you see them coming from, or inside it could be a kitchen or some place where you see them showing up often. The ants will start to decrease over the next few days, and then after that, they should die off, and you shouldn't see any ants at all. This is how to ease ant bait 10 minutes ago, and look how they all came running. I don't know if the one that's like hanging out in the front is the test dummy or if he's warning all the other ones like do not come in here this will kill you we shall see legit set up this 